Good morning, guys. We've been getting some questions since I posted about the nail boards. We've been getting a lot of questions about how we make them, what they're used for. You know, are we sick people to put the nail boards out? You know, little, little lovely messages like that. Um, so this is, this is one of the nail boards. I have it laid in front of um, our rabbit, uh, rabbit uh, cage that had the babies. So here's her door. We just close the door. Now we think this is a pretty good um, safe hutch, but in case it's not, in case that they do get to the front, they will, the bears will step on these nail boards. Now we just save pieces of crappy wood and I nail, I put the nails through the board, quite a few of them. Now we turn them over during the day. See like that? We turn them over so I'm not going to be an idiot and step on it, which I have done. So, um, yeah, during the day we turn them over. But at night, now we turn them back. And this is the earliest of the year that we've ever had to put the nail boards out. Normally, we put the nail boards out like September or October. But it, is, it has been deathly hot here. And um, the bears are very hot. None of the berries or fruit or anything they can forage um, is ripe. It just falls off the tree. So... They're very, very hungry, they're very hot, and all their water sources are drying up. That's why they're coming in here. Normally, nine times out of 10, they'll walk through our property. They won't even stop and look at our animals at all. They just walk right on through. But, but they're very, very hungry. So, and and uh, last night we had a mama bear with three brand new babies. They, the babies were the size of a cat. They were that small. We will never, we have never, we've been here 34 years, we've never shot and killed a bear, ever. We don't want to. We do not want to. We love having our bears. We live in their home. So we have to adjust to them. We make sure our animals are locked up very, very tightly. Every cage is locked. We make them very safe. Um, we have mountain lions that walk through. We have mountain lions. We have mountain lions that'll sit up here on top of our chicken coop. Now, as you can see, we have a giant nail board up here. Because all the bear has to do, and the bears have done this before, they climb uh, this tree, and then they jump down onto the chicken coop roof. They've tried taking the, they've tried tearing the roof off. So now we have nail boards on it. Now, um, one year they did tear the whole back half of that wall off. It's now re I, I came out in the morning to check the chickens. It was empty. And the whole one side was open. There wasn't a chicken left. So we've really, really um, enforced our coops. So there's a big nail board right there. Okay. Now we also have one over here. It lays under here. I'm going to be making another one. I'm going to make it really long. And I'm going to put it right in this area here. Okay. So come with me. We have one here in front of the chicken coop door. It's already, it's already been turned over, okay? And then we're going to be putting, follow me, we're going to be putting another one, probably two or three, all along this fence area here and here, okay? Now, we just don't use nail boards. We use a lot of wind chimes. Because when the bears get to the fence, we can hear this in our house at night. So it wakes us up and we know we had a bear that's either climbing over the fence or getting ready to. Now this gap here, this gap, the bear came right through. 
So we have to come out here and strengthen this. So the bear did come through there. Now this isn't this isn't your top 10 fence. This isn't this isn't bear proof. This was here when we moved in many, many years ago. It's sturdy in the ground. It just doesn't look good, but we have to come out here and re-strengthen this wire. Because this is our orchard and this is where the chickens run. So we also have a nail board here. Like I said, we haven't had to use it yet because it's just been too small. So I'm gonna pull this out today and put it out a little further. Give it a little extra protection for these silkies. I'm going to Dollar General today and I'm going to be buying quite a few more wind chimes. Here's one here. If the bear happens to get over, we will hear this. And trust me, it's very loud in the middle of the night when it's still and very quiet. You can hear these wind chimes everywhere. So that's what we do with the um, nail boards. It's just a little extra security. We do not want to, we don't want to kill a bear, especially a bear that has so many cubs. These cubs, like I said, they're the smallest bear cubs I've ever seen. Now, I don't know if they were just recently born a couple months ago. That could be, you know, they, that they're just brand new starting to wander around or that they're not bigger because there's no food. I'm not sure what it is, but they're not going to get fatter on my birds. I can tell you that. Now, they don't even know we have a pond. We did a, uh, we did a pool to pond conversion. We had a huge built-in pool up here by our house. We couldn't use it because it was, it was too cold. We could never get into it. So we turned it into, we did a pool to pond conversion, which is also on my YouTube. And it's full of catfish and bluegill and crawdads. It's jam-packed with fish. It's right up in this area here. The bears haven't even found it. Over 10 years, they haven't even found it. Because that's how long ago that we converted it. Now, if they were to go into that pond, I don't care. I would let them just have their way and, and fill their belly. Because it's just fish, but not my expensive animals. I don't want that because these, are our, this, this, these animals are our protein. They're part of our income. So... I'm sure these cages can be ripped off the wall if a bear tried. Hubby put them up, you know, very, very well. We try to make everything that we do as best bear-proof as we possibly can. Nothing's bear-proof. But these nail boards, their, their pads on their feet are very, very thick, very tough. And it does hurt them. When they stand on them, they do pull their foot back. We've seen it. One nail board had a couple drops of blood one morning, and this was a couple years ago. But it's not to the point where it, it, will, it won't stick into their foot. I mean, they just, as soon as they put their foot on it, they pull their foot back. We've seen it. We've, we've physic we have physically seen it. It just detours them from doing any more damage. This is the, this is the most non-lethal ways we have come about to to deal with these bears it's not their fault they're starving they're hungry so um let me turn this one back over here before i forget so yeah i just turn it over like that during the day so i'm not a dope and step on it but at night when we lock everybody up we turn the nail boards back over now we do have one up here, and I'll show you that in a second. But um, for all of you that say we're disgusting people for putting nail boards out, would you rather us shoot a mama bear with three brand new cubs and let them die on their own in the forest? That is disgusting. That's disgusting. We would never, ever do that, ever. Now, last night, when we went out to detour them, we shot uh, four or five times over the bear's head um, to let them know that we were out there. The babies did climb out of our son's chicken coop, 
Took them a while because they're so tiny, but I'm hoping that we scared the crap out of them enough that they won't come back. And they remember the areas. They remember what areas are easy pickings, and they remember the areas that they don't want to go back to. So I'm hoping that, I mean, this has been every night, and we're, we're, we're walking around like zombies because we've had no sleep. I think I'm even going to put some over here. This is my flower garden. I think I'm going to even put some over here just in case. But that's the explanation of the um, nail boards. And you know, guys, there's really no need to be nasty. <sighs> Just too much. Some people need to, uh, you know, curb their tongue. We would never do anything to hurt. Even if it's a, even if it's a big male bear, we don't want to shoot it because we know they're thirsty, they're hungry, and they're hot. And we live in their house. We live in their house. We live in a national forest, and this is their house. We have to change our lifestyle to fit in their house. They're not expected to change theirs for ours, for us. So I hope this explains, guys. And um, like I said, we would never, we've never shot a bear we never, we never want to. We would never want to shoot a bear or its cubs. That's just sick. But there is people up here that do that. Believe me, there's people up here that look for any excuse, but we're not one of them. So have a cool day. Watch your surroundings. Keep your head on a swivel, guys. And protect your family. Keep on prepping.